hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial uh, so here we are again uh, with another video related to biomedical uh, engineering so in the previous video we just discussed uh, a basic introduction to biomedical engineering the field of biomedical engineering where we discussed the basic definition and about the various uh, sub disciplines of biomedical engineering in uh, in short and quick uh, way so in today's video we are just going to uh, again learn a basic introduction to the biomedical instrumentation and measurement system okay so this is all about what a basic uh, format a basic architecture of the biomedical measurement system looks like what are the various blocks that are involved the various parts of the uh, biomedical system which is used in uh, the field of medicine and biology so let's get started so the main aim of the biomedical measurement system for which it is uh, mainly used is for the measurement of the physiological parameters the human body parameters okay so we all know that measurement essentially involves comparing an unknown value of any physical quantity and uh, comparing it with a known value and to find the difference between the two okay to find out the deviation now in the human body there are various parameters okay which are of clinical and diagnostic significance okay which can convey a lot of information about how our body as a system it is functioning whether it is functioning normally or abnormally those basic parameters which are generally used in uh, for diagnostic purposes for clinical purposes they are the body temperature uh, it can be blood pressure it can be the respiration rate the heart rate the pulse rate the blood flow rate okay so to name a few there are many other parameters so these are the basic body parameters that give us a lot of information about uh, whether the body is functioning normally or not for example a high body temperature can uh, tell us that whether we have a fever or not okay then blood pressure it gives us information about uh, how uh, our body is working okay then respiration rate heart rate pulse rate blood flow rate blood flow rate so these are all parameters the body parameters of important significance in the clinical and diagnostic purposes now the main aim of the biomedical instrumentation system is to measure these body parameters by the use of suitable sensors and transducers okay so this is the main aim the main objective of biomedical instrumentation and measurement system the measurement of important physiological parameters associated with the human body to detect whether an anomaly is present in the body whether any medical ailment is there and if it is there to which degree to what degree it is affecting the human body and how can we treat it so next the biomedical measurement system it looks something like this okay so here we have is the human body there are various parameters associated with for example it can be the body temperature it can be the blood pressure it can be the respiration rate the heart rate pulse rate all of these constitute the measurement okay the measurement the measurement is that particular physiological parameter okay that quantity which is to be measured okay which is required to be measured which is under observation okay whenever we uh, say that a patient is under observation it means 
his or her vital body parameters are being constantly monitored with the help of suitably placed sensors and transducers those parameters can be blood body temperature blood pressure respiration rate heart rate pulse rate blood flow rate etc as i said okay so all of these is the measurement the parameter which is under observation so as i said it is important for the diagnosis of the medical ailment monitoring to cure and the uh, rehab process okay so that is the measure that is the first block next we have the second block is the sensor and transducer now the measurement has to be measured okay with the help of a suitable equipment now we have already uh, posted videos related to sensors and transducers and the sensors transducers and instrumentation section you can check out that but here also we'll discuss it so the sensor or transducer okay it is a device it is an equipment which senses or detects any physiological parameter okay and uh, it converts it into a suitable electrical form okay so it converts a non electrical quantity into electrical quantity the non electrical quantity can be temperature it can be pressure it can be flow rate it can be anything it is converted into electrical form that is in the form of voltage or current so it can be fed to further blocks for uh, processing and uh, conditioning okay for example for measurement of body temperature we can use a resistance temperature detector thermistor thermocouple as the sensor or transducer for measurement of blood pressure we can use strain gauge for example uh, for blood flow rate measurement we can use ultrasonic or laser doppler meter okay so these are the examples of the various sensors and transducers that are employed in the medical field for the measurement of various vital body parameters there are many other parameters here are just a few examples the next block is the the signal conditioner okay so what does this signal conditioner do now the signal conditioner uh, converts the output of the sensor or transducer into a suitable form so that it can be presented in a more convenient and understandable way so that the viewer the doctor or uh, the uh, anyone who is supposed to treat the patient he or she can interpret and comprehend that information so it converts it into a suitable form so the main uh, objectives the main tasks of the signal conditioner is the amplification of the signal matching the frequency response of the signal filtering of noise and interfering components uh, isolating uh, coinciding signals or neighboring signals and to linearize the output okay so these are the main objectives of signal conditioner now the biomedical signals are of very low magnitude very low intensity okay the maximum biomedical the, the biomedical signals generally lie in the order of millivolts and microvolts okay so there are very low amplitude so that's where amplification comes into play they uh, have a lot of distortive interfering and noise components present in them so that's where the filtering uh, part comes into play most of them are non linear in nature they are random okay they have they show random variations with respect to time that's where the linearization technique comes into play okay so these are all the functions of the signal conditioner now the examples of signal conditioner can be ac or dc bridges operational amplifiers low high or band pass or band stop filters the various types of filters that are used these are all examples of signal conditioner that are part of this signal conditioner block okay it consists of amplifiers filters uh, it can contain other amplification models can con contain power amplifiers so it all constitutes one block next we have is the uh, display system 
alarm system and the data storage system okay now the display system uh, it uh, provides us a visual uh, three dimensional representation okay a graphical representation of the physiological parameter now you would have seen that uh, the the machine which shows the uh, heartbeat okay the electrocardiogram machine it shows the variation of uh, the, the beating of the heart the heart rate the activity of the heart and it beeps con continuously whenever you go into any uh, any hospital or any uh, hospital room you would have seen the, the machine which shows the respiration rate which is connected to the hand then another uh, display will be there where you can see the activity of the heart is being measured so these are all the display system which provides us a visual or graphical representation of the physiological parameter now the display system can be a cathode ray oscilloscope a digital storage oscilloscope lcd display or a simple pointer scale indicator nowadays mainly cathode ray oscilloscope digital storage oscilloscope and lcd displays are used okay so which gives us uh, an exact not an exact but an almost approximate measurement of the various physiological quantity in terms of uh, numbers okay uh, it gives us uh, an approximate measurement okay so this is the display system okay next we have is the alarm system so the alarm system uh, it consists of some sound producing device which generates an alarm when any body parameter it crosses the normal or safe range of values for example if the respiration rate of the patient is too low okay too low below the normal range then it will produce an alarm a sound which will alert the concerned uh, uh, medical personnel to immediately come to the patient and to give them the required treatment to again restore him or her back to the uh, normal uh, way of functioning suppose the blood pressure or the heartbeat the heart rate it drops below the normal range or goes above the normal range then also it will generate an alarm to uh, to, to alert the doctors to come and respond and treat the patient accordingly so this is where the alarm system comes into play okay so the alarm system basically uh, consists of a sound producing beeping device or a sharp sound producing device which generates or sounds an alarm when any physiological parameter such as body temperature blood pressure heart rate or respiration rate it goes above or below the safe or normal range of values so examples of uh, the alarm systems can be piezoelectric buzzers piezo ceramic buzzers electromechanical buzzers okay so these are the various sound producing devices then we have is the data storage system now all the parameters the uh, vital parameters of a patient which uh, are measured they are continuously recorded and stored so that the doctors can refer to the past history of the patient to gather and collect important information about the patient which will be very much uh, very much helpful in further diagnosis treatment and rehabilitation process of the patient so that's why the the monitoring the various data which is collected about the various uh, bodily parameters such as temperature or blood pressure or any other parameter it is continuously monitored as well as recorded and stored okay in the uh, hospital or any other uh, place where the uh, monitoring process is going on so that's where the data storage system comes into play it stores the uh, relevant important data related to various uh, parameters physiological parameters it can be through electrical or mechanical means okay the various forms of recording that is done is uh, through inkjet recording or potentiometric recording ultrasonic recording thermal array recording 
So these are the various recording techniques which we will discuss in detail in separate videos uh, in the upcoming days. So please don't worry about that. These are just for you to know the basic examples of the recording techniques that is used. So we have discussed all the blocks of uh, this biomedical measurement system starting from the measurement, the sensor transducer, the signal conditioner, the display system, alarm system and the data storage system. Then we have is the power supply which provides the necessary voltage and power to each of the individual blocks for their proper functioning. It can be a regulated power supply system of any value. It can be 5 volt, 12 volt or higher values. So it depends on the uh, requirement. So the power supply provides the necessary voltage and power to each and every block of the biomedical measurement system. So here we have discussed uh, the, all the blocks of the biomedical measurement system and discussed how this uh, measurement and instrumentation system uh, works in uh, just the basic concepts related to it. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.